Okay, so we start with uh, question one. So A union B complement intersect C. So which one is A? A, we know A is this. This is A. Okay, what is uh, B complement? So A, union B complement, it means A, we put it together or we join it with B complement. B complement is everything outside B. So we're talking about this, this, okay. So all this is B complement, okay. So meaning that we have uh, put together A and B complement since we have, we have shaded A and we have shaded B complement. Now they're saying intersect C. Which one is C? C, we know that um, it's this. I'll use red to show C. Okay, so this is C. So now intersect means looking for a common area shared by the two sets. So we're looking for where we have two types of lines. The lines that represent A union B complement and the ones representing C. We can see that it's here. Okay, so this is uh, the common region and hence the answer. Okay, so now we can show the final answer by just shading that part where we had both types of lines like this. Okay, so this is A union B complement intersect C. We got question two. You set notation to describe the shaded region in the in the answer space. So we can see here that B intersect C has been shaded. B intersect C. But it's not all of it because it's supposed to be like this to be B intersect C. The part that is in A has not been uh, shaded, meaning that the part that has been shaded is the part outside A. So it's A complement. But it's not the entire A complement because A complement includes all this. Okay? It's only a part of the A complement that is shared by B intersect C. Okay, this is part of a complement, but is it's also part of B intersect C. So we can put this face in brackets and show intersect. So B intersect C intersect A complement. Okay, the part that is shared by A complement and B intersect C. The easier way to look at it is um, you have identified that this is B intersect C. Okay, so you can put in brackets. Then the part that has not been shaded, uh, you are, once you identify it, you have to do intersect A complement. A has not been shaded, so you do intersect A complement. If it was B that was not shaded, if the part that was not in B, um, I mean, if the part that is in B was not shaded, you could have put intersect B complement. If the part that is in C, I uh, was not shaded, we could have put intersect C complement. This time, the part that is in set A is the one that has not been shaded. So it's B intersect C intersect A complement. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this new understanding in the, uh, in the others. We go to question three. Question three, we can see that A has been shaded. And also B intersect C has been shaded. Okay. So here we just have to join A and B intersect C. The two sets we have identified. To join in sets, you have to put union between the two sets. Okay. So it's A union B intersect C. A union B intersect C. Okay. Okay, going to question four. Question four, uh, here, uh, we can see that A and B have been shaded. So we can see that uh, A joined with B, they are shaded. So we can say A union B. But there's this part in A union B that has not been shaded. So we can say that this part that has been shaded is part of A union B and also is part of those things which are not in C. It's also part of those things which are not in C. Okay. So, uh, meaning that uh, 
the sick complement has been shaded, but not the whole sick complement, only part of it, the part that is shared by A union B. So we say intersect C complement. Using the other approach, you can say, okay, you, you, you have seen that A union B has been shaded and C has been removed. So to remove is to do intersect the set that has been removed complement. Okay. We go to question five. Question five, you can see that C has been shaded, but not all of it because the part that is in A and B has not been shaded. So you can say what has been shaded is C, but uh, the, 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 the are not all of it, just the part that is shared by or with A union B because these are A and B. Both of them are not shaded. So uh, A union B complement. Using the other understanding, you can say C has been shaded, but A union B has been removed from C. So we can say to remove, intersect A union B complement. So whichever you, you're, you're able to get, you just uh, stick to that. Going to question six. Given that E is the universal set having numbers from 1 to 10, a prime numbers prime numbers are numbers that have only two numbers that go into them that is one and the same number itself for example if you think about three what number go what numbers go into three it's one and three what about two it's one and two what about five it's one and five that's all so such numbers are called prime numbers okay so a is prime numbers so uh the universal set has the, the all the elements we're going to be discussing so if you want to make a since they've said a it's prime numbers so what prime numbers are here we have two we have three we have five we have seven that's all nine is not a prime number because one goes into nine three goes into nine and nine goes into nine so it's not a prime number okay so um that's our a then b here to say multiples of three so multiples of three are those numbers into which three goes without the remainder. So which numbers are those here? Uh, it's three itself. It's a uh, six. Uh, it's a uh, nine. Three, six, and nine. Okay. So these are the numbers. Okay. So now they want um they want a union b complement. A union B complement. So they want us to put together what is in A and what is in B complement. Oh, actually, it's like this with brackets. A union B, we put together A and B, then we look for the complement. So what is A union B? Okay. A union B is putting together A and B. So we have two, we have three, we have five, we have six. We have seven and we have nine. Okay. So this is A union B. Putting together this and this. Two, three, five, six, seven, nine. So now A union B in brackets complement. We're looking for those members that are in the universal set but are not in this, in the A union B. We're talking about one, which is not here. Uh, we're talking about four. Okay, we're talking about 8 and we're talking about 10. Okay, I've run out of space here, but 10. Okay, so the answer was 1, 4, 8, 10. 1, 4, 8, 10. So again, we had to come up with set A, set B, then set A, union B, then that's how we can get a union b complement going to question seven given that the universal set is set e with these elements one three five seven eleven and set x is one five nine and set y is this list x intersect y complement so x they have told us that it's um one five nine then y they have 
given us uh, y3911. Now, they want x intersect y complement. We don't have y complement, so we need to come up with y complement. What is y complement? Members that are in here, but are not in y. So we're talking about 1. We're talking about 5. We're talking about 7. That's all. 1, 5, 7. That's why complement. Okay. So now um, they want X intersect Y complement. Common members found in X and in Y complement. You can clearly see that it's 1 and 5. 1, 1, 5, 5. Going to question 8. So question 8, given that S is equal to, so this is how to read this, okay? Uh, so given that S is equal to, X is such that, uh, okay, let me just write it. Okay, I'll leave it here. So it reads X is such that this is read as is such that one is less than x which is less or equal to 15. one is less than x which is less or equal to 15 and x is a prime number so they're saying this number called x is between 1 and 15 okay and this x is a prime number so they want prime numbers between 1 and 15 but not including one because there's no uh, equal to sign here but this side this equal to sign means that if 15 is a prime number you can also include it in the set okay so it's something like this okay so what are the prime numbers between 1 and 15 2 3 5 7 11 13 so these are the prime numbers between 1 and 15. 1, sorry, not not, not 1, 2, yes, um, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13. Okay, so this is the answer. Okay, going to question 9. Question 9 it is given that the inverse set E faced 8 whole numbers. So, um, our inverse set, it's better write them when they have described them. So, the first whole number is 0. The first, we're looking for the first four um, whole numbers. So, uh, I mean the, the, the first 8 whole numbers. So, 0, 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so these are the first, um, the first eight whole numbers. Okay, um, then a it's even numbers. Even numbers are those numbers which are divisible by two, meaning that two can go into them without a remainder. So, uh, if this is our set E, we pick those numbers uh, in which two can go into without a remainder. 0 is one of those numbers. 2 into 0, it's 0. Then 2, 4, 6. Okay? So this set A. So I've been answered it. That's the answer. So if you want to learn more about numbers, I've added the link uh, where answers are. So that I, just in case you want to know the types of numbers. Then question 10, given that A is, uh, A is equal to X, it's like this inside A. So A, X is such that X is this or equal to 6 and X is a natural number. Okay, so um, this set A, so A is equal to, so x is such that x is this or equal to 6 and x is a natural number. Natural numbers are counting numbers from 1. The numbers that 
we use for counting. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. But be careful if there is no this equal to, then you don't have to include six. But there is equal to, so we can include six. Question 11. Given that set E is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, set A. Set A, it's prime numbers. Okay, so we pick prime numbers from the universal set. Uh, okay, which are 2, 5, 7. Okay, 2, 5, 7. These are the prime numbers from the universal set. Then set B, they have given us it's 3, 6, 9. Okay, so they want us to list A union b a union b we put together what is in here and what is in here okay so actually it's a union b complement so our a we we said it's uh two five seven that's our a okay two three five seven Ooh. two three five seven that's our a Okay, let me just make it clear. Okay, so um, this is our A. Now, for us to find A union B complement, we need to know what B complement is. So B complement has those members that are in uh, that that are in the universal set, but not in B. We are talking about zero. We are talking about two, one. We are talking about two. Okay, we're talking about four, we're talking about five. Okay, um, we're talking about seven and eight. Okay, so these are the members in B. I mean in the universal set, but not in B, the B complement. Okay, so now uh, they want us to put them together with A. So our final answer is going to be zero one two this two is the same as this one three four five seven eight okay i've just done my space this side so it's going to be zero one two three five seven eight 